In this video, I will show you the feature of uh, Paratia Plus to model uh, C page problems. I prepare the model in which I model one half of excavation of uh, um, a trench that is totally 16 meter wide. I consider one half of the model, so I consider a wall that is 8 meters from, far from the symmetry line. For sake of simplicity, I consider an homogeneous soil, sandy soil. Now, uh, this is a proper excavation in which, in stage one, I simply consider uh, a rest condition, and in a stage two, I consider uh, an excavation seven meter be below the, the, the water, the retaining wall head and a, a water table wall lowering inside the excavation that is two meter and a half below the water the general water table elevation uh, we can now run the apparati analysis and see what happens okay uh, the bending moments are uh, 400 uh, 400 kilonewtons meters per running meter and uh, uh, the support force is around 100 uh, kilonewton per meter and uh, the water pressure calculated by Paratia without any sea page analysis but with a simple one-dimensional scheme are this one let's see 85 let's see 85 uh, uh, kilopascal at the base so since the base was at elevation minus, minus uh, um, uh, 15 the hydrostatic condition would be uh, 100 kilopascal and uh, due to uh, uh, the excavation due to this activation of C page, we have a, a small reduction at, at uh, uh, of uh, pressure. So now let's uh, activate uh, a true C page field. Uh, this is can be done by making a, a seamless uh, finite element analysis and uh, pass all uh, the necessary um, results to the, para to the paratia with simple uh, operations. So let's take stage number two and activate C page analysis. Excuse me, I have to click apply. Okay, so in this case. The, the the indication of the water table becomes uh, as dashed line it means that c page analysis has to be set up to do so i uh, have also to consider boundary condition in a c page analysis normally uh, we apply a impervious condition at the base an impervious condition at the symmetry line because no flow can pass through this line and uh, uh, a, a hydrostatic condition at the far end of the model and also we must discuss how to apply condition at, along this surface to do so there is a, a simple dialogue to, to, be, to be considered um, so as I said, on the right boundary I consider it symmetric condition, whereas on the left vertical boundary I consider hydrostatic condition. So water uh, water pressure will, will be applied along this vertical line, with the vertic with the head cons with respect to the uphill uh, water table elevation. On the horizontal boundary here initially i want to model uh, a situation where i consider that the water table is kept constant at elevation minus five so i i keep it as fixed whereas and also on the right part inside the excavation i want to model a fictitious, con a fictitious condition where I consider that all the, uh, in all the points along this line 
the water table is lower down to minus 7.5. Then I have to apply some other um, properties to model to, 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 to govern how the mesh is created. Uh, excuse me, I, I forgot to click in here. Okay. So, uh, what happened is that Paratia Plus uh, show the uh, boundary condition applied here and here as blue dotted line means that means that pore pressure are considered as boundary condition. This means that any in any along any boundary condition where pore pressure are assigned, it is a previous boundary condition. So the water can come can come in from here, from here and can get out from here. Let's see what happened during the running the parity analysis. So we will see that there has been a modific a, 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 another uh, calculation in which uh, before running parity analysis, uh, there, there was a, a seepage analysis calculated with the finite element program uh, X-Finest behind, without no intervention by the user. These are the water pressure to be applied by, on Paratia, on the Maratia model, uh, coming from the seepage analysis. So, we can see the user results. We see that the, the the bending moment has been little has been changed a little bit, not not too much, and also the um, prop force has been changed a little bit. But now, of course, we can see also the uh, the results from uh, um, the seepage analysis, and the flow vectors. Here we see that some water come in from this boundary and also the water come in from this boundary and some water get out from this boundary. To do so the program used a mesh cre automatically created by Parity Plus. We can also show the excess port pressure and the total pressure and so on. But what is important for us is to see, to, to figure how much water has to be pumped off from this boundary. This can be calculated very simply and interactively with a tool offered by Parity Plus, a tool that is called Flow Inspector. Flow Inspector is an interactive tool in which, through which you can encompass a zone where you expect that the water get out and the program will calculate how much water get out from this boundary. Okay? We see it is around one point one times ten at minus minus uh, four uh, square meter per second. Uh, it, they are not cube meters per second because it is assumed that uh, the model uh, consider one meter wide uh, excavation. And of course, this is the quantity for one half of the trench. To calculate, to, to, to dimension the, the pumping system, you have to keep in mind that this uh, must be double for having the, the power of the pump per running meter of the total trench. So now, uh, well, let's uh, refine a little bit this analysis, by, but uh, uh, not too much to uh, tuning the boundary condition. For example, uh, what I want to do is to let the uh, phreatic line move in this boundary. So, due to the pumping inside the excavation, some lowering of the water table may occur. This is simply done by modifying the boundary condition. The boundary condition now, so I let the water table vary on the left horizontal part. Okay. I run analysis again. And I see that the water table, the, the phratic line moves. 
while this condition has been set up very simply, the model now is much more complex because now it becomes a, an unconfined problem in which uh, uh, an iterative procedure is requested to calculate how much the water table get out. So, but now uh, let's go to the result and see what, what changed, how the result changed. The results are more or less the same as expected. And the flow, uh, how does it change the flow? Let's take a look with the flow inspector. And we see that the flow coming out from this model is not, not too different from before, as before. Now, it, it, it is instructive to see how much is uh, the water coming in. Uh, theoretically, the water coming in should balance the water coming out. So, uh, from where the water coming come in? Come from this boundary. And so, I consider a, a flow inspector embracing this boundary and see if the, the calculated inlet water almost balanced the other one. And we see that the figure is almost the same with some, some difference due to the iterative tolerance. And uh, the water coming in is a, as a positive sign, whereas the water coming out as a negative sign. So the algebraic sum of this uh, should, of course, be almost zero. Now, finally, uh, Mm, remember that the, the water coming in is around 1 times uh, 10 at minus minus 4 square meter per second in this zone. And uh, now I want to simply improve again this analysis, not considering a continuous um, pumping along this line, but adding a well point here that is a more realistic condition. So to do so, I simply, in a model, add a well point. And I will put this well point here. Now, let's see. The well point is a, actually a well point, And I will put at elevation minus a little bit lower to the excavation um, dredge line, minus 9. And I prescribe an outflow of one time minus minus four apply okay so this is this small arrow uh, says that there is a, a well point systems okay And let's see what happened. Now, also here, there is no long boundary condition here, but because the water table may vary also in this condition. Let's see what happened. Of course, now the water, the, the, um, the amount of water coming, getting out from this model is not calculated by x finite, but is simply uh, what has been prescribed by the user. What does it change? Uh, it changes the shape of the water table here. So the water table now is uh, a curve table, a, cu a curve line that corresponds with the actual pos possible line Due to, uh, due to the pumping of the uh, uh, known quantity of water. This is uh, a, a tool that can be very well, uh, very, very quickly give you the, res the, the, the answer to the question how much water has been to pump it off. It is 1 at times 10 at minus 4 square meter per second per half trench. 
meter uh, uh, one meter running trench so you can uh, now you can modify the uh, and design your pumping system very quickly thank you for watching the video